fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. Even after treaties had been signed with the Indians of the western United States, there was a great deal of misunderstanding between the red men and the white settlers. The Indians felt they had been cheated, and the settlers were unable to forget the massacres of an earlier day. It was only the courage and resourcefulness of the masked rider of the plains that prevented fresh outbreaks on the frontier. It was he, more than any other man, who brought peace and security to Indian and white man alike. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young and adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the Lobo River! I am Silver! Away! At one moment, the mighty earth dam that had been built by the settlers to hold back the waters of the Lobo River stood as firm and solid as the neighboring hills. But at the next... The dam! The dam's And a scant half hour later, some distance below the site of the dam, a masked man and an Indian raced towards the angry stream. Look ahead, Tonto. Ah, oh, me see him. Part of a roof torn from a house, and someone's on it. That's right. If it breaks up, they'll drown. Come on, Get Silver. Get scout. Time sending Silver into the river, Kimosabe. Me go, too. Now, follow us along the bank. Here, take the end of this rope. He got him. Make it fast around your saddle horn. Uh, the other end is fast to my saddle. I'll play it out as we swim. When I give the word, pull us towards shore. I do do that. I think I can cut them off from here. River, and he swift. Stay back. Hold, Scout. Hold, hold. Into the water, old boy. Hold right there. Help. Help. Hang on. Come on, old fellow. Go back, mister. Go back. You'll never make it. We'll make it. Hang on. All right, boy. You can do it, fellow. Come on, boy. You can hit. You go under. Reach out. Grab the saddle. I got a hold. You there. Give me your hand. Now, hold on. Got a good grip? I I guess so. And as soon as we start for the bank, slip into the water and swim alongside. Ready? Yeah. All right, Tato. Pull away. Pull away. As Silver struck out for shore and Scout pulled from the bank, the Lone Ranger held the woman across the saddle while her companion clutched the pommel. The river tore at them, but finally Silver's hoofs found solid footing, and he clattered to dry ground. You 
Give me a hand here, Tato. You're all right now. Just stretch out. I don't know how to thank you. Don't. How are you feeling? Just, just about all in. You've got a cut above your eye. Uh, it ain't nothing. Fix that cut for him, Tato. Yeah, how to do that. Now then, what's happened? The river looks as though the dam may have gone out. It did, stranger. It did. Uh, I hope I never see nothing like it again as long as I live. I reckon there ain't many besides me and Lem that could come through it alive. You mean it broke without warning? It trapped the people in the settlement? Thanks to Lame Crow. What's that? His engines blowed up the dam. Ouch, engine. That hurt. Me just clean wound. It all right now. Say, you ain't one of Lame Crow's braves, are you? He isn't. What makes you think Lame Crow is responsible for the dam going out? Lame Crow has always been mad about the whites using that water for irrigating. And engines were seen near the dam just before it blew up. Impossible. But it's so strange. I have seen him myself. You couldn't have. But we did. In the first place, Tonto and I left Lame Crow's camp early this morning. He's been on a hunting party in the hills. Every brave in his tribe was with him. But I've seen engines, I tell you. The dam was blowing up with blasting powder? Just so. Where would Indians get blasting powder in quantities sufficient for a job like that? I don't know, but they did all right. And that isn't all. Tonto and I have known Lame Crow for years. It's true he didn't want the river dammed. He knew, however, that if he objected, it would be done anyhow. So when the government gave him money to give up his rights to the river, he accepted. Lame Crow made a bargain, and he doesn't go back on his word. But in that case, I don't see why... I'm willing to wager white men blew up that dam. I tell you, I see... White me. men disguised as Indians. What would they have to gain? They couldn't do no looting. I'll bet when the dam went out, it even took the houses and cabins that was on the side of the hill. Have you ever heard of Squint Maxson and his gang? Uh, well, I don't seem to recollect... Lem, great day you do so recollect him. Charlie Dunn was speaking to them just day before yesterday. Don't you recall the awful things he said they'd done? Gosh, I was forgetting. At Granite Bluff, they fired an entire forest, then raided the town when the townspeople were out fighting the fire. That's one of the things Charlie was telling about. At Fremont, they stampeded a herd of cattle through the town and held up the bank during the confusion. But if it was them, stranger, I don't savvy what their purpose was. I said the whole settlement was clean wiped away. And 30 miles from here at Buffalo City, there's a garrison of soldiers. Yeah, but what's at that? At the first word of this disaster, the soldiers will be on the scene to lend aid. What are you getting at? With the soldiers at the dam, Buffalo City will be unprotected. And at Buffalo City, there's a smelter that has thousands of dollars worth of gold on hand. You mean to say... I mean, I know Lame Crow couldn't be responsible for this. I know Squint is somewhere in the district. And destroying the dam to draw the soldiers away from Buffalo City is just the kind of a trick he'd try. Oh, nice oh gosh, Neither I... Neither one of you look badly hurt from your experience. You all right, Edna? I'm just tired and wet is all. Do you think you could make out all right if we left supplies for you and build a fire? Sure we could. What do you got in mind? And Tonto and I have many friends in the district. Yeah? The soldiers will likely leave town before we can warn them. But if Squint makes a try for that gold, he'll find himself in the middle of more trouble than he ever thought possible. Tonto, unload our supplies and build a fire for these folks. And then we're riding. The Lone Ranger and Tonto raced for Buffalo City. At each ranch they passed, they called for volunteers. Saddle up! See to your guns! Squint Maxson is raiding! It's the Lone Ranger! Saddle up, men! Follow us! Ride for Buffalo City! Ride! The Lone Ranger wants us. Follow the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger. Saddle up. The masked man needs us. See to your guns. Come on. But while a posse was forming, a column of desperate riders, under the leadership of a short, thick-set man, rode into Buffalo City and brought their mounts to a thundering stop in front of the smelter. Anybody gets in our way, stops red. All right, fellas, inside with you. All right, come on. Come on inside. We're taking over. Nobody will get hurt that minds his own business. Don't shoot. Dirty crooks. The soldiers will get you for this. Shut up. Tex, break into the storeroom. Start packing the gold outside. Sure. Limpy, keep a watch so as we ain't surprised. Yeah. Cal, hold guns on these fellas. They make a move drunk. Well, it's working, Squint. Said it would, didn't I? <laughs> if there ain't 20,000 in gold here, then there ain't a dollar. This will be just about the richest haul we ever made. But it won't be the last. Keep moving there. We ain't got all day. Blasted fools. 
they didn't have me to tell them what to do, they'd be caught a dozen times over. You're slick, boss. I right, get along. Kelly, I never would have thought of blowing up that dam to get the soldiers out of town. That was one of the neatest things you thought of yet. Yeah, and if we don't put plenty of miles between us and here by sundown, we'll find ourselves decorating ropes. Blast it, quit storing. You, Steve, help them fellas with that gold. Pete, you step lively or I'll see to it you wish you had. I'll prod him, boss. Tell text it. Squint! Squint! There's horsemen! What the? Get outside and take a look. We got to clear up. What? Hey. What is the matter? Look to the east. Horsemen. And look over there. Where in at us? Ain't over here. The blazes with the gold. Get to your horses. Head south. We can. But you have to. They're coming from every direction. They got the trail blocked. Look there. There. We're surrounded. Boss, we're trapped. Boys, get your guns ready. Give them what fur. We can't do nothing but fight it out. And if they get us, we hang. That mass fellow's in the lead, boys. Get him first of all. All right, start shooting. Come on, boy, boy. Meanwhile, where the dam had once stood, the soldiers were rescuing what few survivors could be found and were giving them hasty first aid. One of the survivors, stronger than the rest, was telling his story to Captain Martin. It was the engines, Captain. Just as sure as I'm standing here, it was them. They were seen, Captain. I'll bet Lame Crow was planning this for months. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. Captain, do you savvy what it means to see your friends get drowned right before your eyes? Do you savvy what it means to know you ain't got a home no more and all because of them dirty, sneaking redskins? They'll be dealt with. But when? At once. Lieutenant Greg will stay here with part of my men. I've already given orders for the rest of my command to make ready to march. After Lame Crow? Right. Let me ride with you, Captain. Let me drill a couple of them murdering critters. This is a job for soldiers. But I want Don't worry about it. I assure you, Lame Crow will get the punishment he deserves. You're likely just arrest him. I'll give him a chance to surrender, of course. That ain't good enough. But I don't expect Lame Crow surrender. He isn't the kind to give himself up willingly. And if he don't? We attack. If we let Lame Crow get away with something like this, we'd find ourselves in trouble from one end of the Indian country to the other. I hope you wipe every last one of them out. Sir? Yes? The men are mounted and waiting, sir. You told Lieutenant Gregg to remain and offer all possible aid? Yes, sir. Then tell the bugler to blow double time march as soon as I'm in the saddle. Right, sir. Well, I think you'll find Lame Crow will pay for what he's done. I'm sure hoping for it, Captain. Say, there's Lem Purdy. Well, well I figured him to be drowned. Hey, Lem! Hi there! Hold up a second. Where's Edna? What's happened to you? Oh, there. Oh, oh. I'll tell you about it later, Tom. Captain, you getting ready to head somewhere? We're riding after Lame Crow. <laughs> but he never done this. Huh? You crazy? What makes you say that? A masked man told me he didn't. On what grounds? Why... Well, he said he was talking to Lame Crow, and he couldn't have been nowhere near the dam. He said there was just a trick pulled by a squint max. Nonsense. You're a loco, Lamb. But the masked man I'm not that... interested in what outlaws say. All the evidence points to Lame Crow. Now, wait, Captain. And if a masked man told you that, it's because he's a friend of the Indians. A renegade. He said he was a friend. But if he's a crook or a renegade, then I am loco. Now, look here. That fellow risked his life to save me and my wife. And if a crook could do that, then the breed's changed a heap since I last made up with one. Lamb... That masked man must have pulled the wool over your eyes for fair. But I tell and you... I have it... no more time to talk. My horse, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. You're making a mistake. I can't prove it, but I'd be willing to take that masked fellow's word any time. You've got to believe me, Captain. I believe you're sincere. Well, then why don't I you... I believe believe... also you've allowed yourself to be tricked. Lame Crow must be made to pay, and at once. <laughs> Very well, Bugler. Oh! Oh! Captain! Wait, Captain. Yes, doggone it, Jim. You don't know what you're talking about. I hiked all the way to the bar end to get a cayuse to ride here. Yeah? I knew this had happened. And after what the masked man done for me and Edna, and after him telling us Lame Crow was a friend of his, I hope to do him a favor back. To save the painted critters that blasted the dam. If the engine did it, then that masked fella lied to me. But I'm telling you, Tom, I'd stake anything I got on that fella's word. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Thank you. 
to continue our story. The cavalry, with Captain Martin in the lead, threaded the hills until finally a scout brought word that the camp of Lane Crow's hunting party was just beyond the next hill. Captain Martin raised a hand and signaled to halt. Men, you will remain here. I'm riding ahead alone. If I don't return within 20 minutes, attack. But, Captain, if Lame Crow takes you prisoner, there's He no... won't. Not if I enter his camp of my own free will to parley with him. Begging your pardon, sir, but what good will it do? If I ride ahead with my entire troop, he'll be sure to resist. I may be able to persuade him to surrender peacefully, to point out that he hasn't a chance. If I succeed, it will save useless bloodshed. I... I don't feel as though you should, sir. That's enough. Remember my orders. Attack if I'm not back in 20 minutes, but not before. Yes, sir. Climbing the hill, Captain Martin saw Lane Crow's camp below him. He proceeded without hesitation, and as he drew closer, a stir of excitement ran through the camp. Lane Crow, a tall, muscular Indian, stepped forward to greet his visitor. Ho, ho, ho! What message does White Soldier bring, Lame Crow? <coughs> Lame Crow, my troop is just beyond the hill. I'm calling upon you to surrender. Lame Crow, not savvy. It's no good, Chief. We know you destroyed the dam at Lobo River. What made you think you could get away with it? What you mean? You savvy well enough. You made a treaty with the government. You were paid to give up all rights to the river and leave the settlers alone. You signed the treaty, accepted the money, and broke your word. That's not true. You blew up the dam and wiped out the settlement. At least 30 persons were killed. And those who lived through it testify that Indians were seen near the dam just before the explosion. There are no other Indian here but Lame Crow's people. That's exactly the point. There are no other Indians in this district but your tribe. So you have to be guilty. Lame Crow take Braves on hunting party. Braves not near dam. You're going to stick to that? It true. Then listen to me, Lame Crow. I don't believe it. But perhaps you can prove what you say at a trial. You and all your braves surrender... Now see that your trial is fair. My people never surrender. You have no choice. My troop is ready to attack. Them make heap bad mistake. The mistake is yours. And don't think you can avoid an attack by taking me prisoner. I left orders that if I don't return within 20 minutes, they're to attack without me. Me not make you prisoner. Then surrender, Lame Crow. Do you want to be responsible for your braves who must die if there's a fight? You listen, Lame Crow. Well? One time... All land here belong to red man. Red man hunt, ride, fight. Do what him want. Then white man come. White man take land belong to red man. Sometime white man pay. Sometime white man steal. But all time, white man make promise him not keep. That has no... You been... wait. Maybe red man lose home. Maybe him lose land, but red man never lose freedom. If my people not free, them die. You say me surrender. Go to jail, wait trial. Lame Crow say red man never surrender. Then you'll fight? That's your last word? Lame Crow, fight. Very well. It's your decision. And I'll give you time to talk it over with your braves. You've got one hour, Lame Crow. Surrender within that time... Or take the consequences. Get up! Get up! Captain Martin returned to his troop and told them of the ultimatum he had delivered to Lame Crow. He had scarcely finished, however, when the lieutenant shouted, Captain! Yes? Horseman, sir, a masked man. Well, I'll be... You recall the masked man that settler told us about, sir? I want that man. Well, he's coming this way. Put him under arrest the moment he arrives. Yes, sir. He's got things to explain. Yes, sir. Rain up. Oh, 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 oh. Captain. You're under arrest. One moment. You're under... Listen to me. I was heading for the dam from Buffalo City. I met Lem Purdy on the trail. He told me he reported the truth about the destruction of the dam, and you refused to believe him. He tried to tell me Lame Crow wasn't responsible. He wasn't. But I know... Captain, you allowed yourself to be tricked. You were drawn from Buffalo City, and in your absence, Grint Maxim struck. Ridiculous. The fellow wouldn't dare. He's taken bigger chances for smaller stakes in the past. How do you know so much? I knew what he was up to when I heard about the dam. I knew Lame Crow couldn't have been responsible, so Squint had to be. I want... What's more, I can prove what I say. Then prove it. Tonto and I rode to Buffalo City. We called on friends, and they followed. Squint was in town less than two hours after you left. He's now a prisoner. He and his whole gang. I've only your word for that. Then wait. For what? When I was told you set out to capture Lame Crow, I sent a friend back to town to see that Squint was brought here. 
That should be all the proof you'd need. You're a friend of Lame Crow. I am. And I think you're lying. Why would I? To give him a chance to escape. We wait because you ask us, and Lame Crow gives us a slip. Well, masked man, it didn't work. Don't be a fool. Take off this fellow's mask. Let's see what a renegade white looks like. Stand back. Grab him. I warn you. Here, Silver. Hold him. Hold him. Stand clear. Come on, Silver. Shoot that man down. Oh, Shoot. He's traveling too fast. I think I winged him. Look at that horse go. Heading for the engines. Shall we follow, Captain? No. I gave Lame Crow one hour. And if we ride, he'll think we're attacking. Stay where you are. But the next time you see that masked renegade, shoot to kill. The Lone Ranger, one arm scratched by a shot that had come dangerously close, pulled his mount to a sliding stop in Lame Crow's camp. Oh, 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 oh boy. Lame Crow. Oh. Lame Crow. I just escaped from the soldiers. Mm. Them say Lame Crow blow up dam. Them tack if Lame Crow not give up. And they will attack. But Lame Crow not guilty. I know you aren't, but they don't. They're convinced you're to blame, and nothing I could say would change their minds. Mm. So there's only one thing you can do. What that? Surrender. Lame Crow think you friend. I am your friend, Lame Crow. That's why I'm giving you this advice. Me not trust white man justice. Do as I say. Surrender. And your innocence will be proved. Me not do that. You must. All I want is some time. Give me two hours, and evidence will be here that will clear you. But without those two hours, white men and red men will die because of a mistake. You white man. Maybe you trick Lame Crow. You said I was your friend. Hmm. Huh? But you white man, too. And I'll make a bargain with you, Lame Crow. What bargain? Captain Martin wouldn't trust me because he knew I was your friend. You won't trust me because you're afraid that because I'm white, I'd side with the soldiers. Hmm. Huh? But my life is as valuable to me as yours is to you. Do you believe that, Lame Crow? Me believe. Then, as chief and representative of your tribe, give yourself up to Captain Martin. Your braves can remain here. If he has you, the captain will be satisfied to wait a while before taking further action. How oh, I know you not trick me. If you'll surrender to Captain Martin, Lame Crow, I'll stay here as a hostage for your safety. Look, here are my guns. There. My guns are on the ground. I'm powerless. I'm your prisoner. Tell your braves to hold me. And if you do not return, if your innocence isn't proven, if I've tricked you, then they can take my life. You heap brave men. I don't want to see men die because of a mistake. Will you take me up on it, Lame Crow? You brave man. Me brave man. Lame Crow do. Good. Ride to the soldiers. Two hours delay is all I ask. And it's up to you to see that I get it. Lame Crow made his way alone to Captain Martin and surrendered. In the meantime, the Lone Ranger was closely guarded by Lame Crow's braves. As the minutes passed, they kept up a low, monotonous chant. The masked man spoke softly to the powerful white stallion that stood at his side. It'll turn out all right, old fellow. After we get Squint here in time. If we can save bloodshed, old fellow, the risk is worth it. They should arrive any time now, Silver. As the Braves guarded the Lone Ranger, so did the soldiers guard Lane Crow. Captain Martin, watch in hand, marked the passage of time. Ten more minutes. I don't like this, Captain. No? I think those redskins are up to something. The sergeant reported they've made no attempt to escape. I know, sir, but you can't... I scarcely think they'd try anything. And they're aware that Lame Crow's life is in our hands. Just the same, sir. Well? You don't believe this story about Squint Maxim, do you, Captain? I'm beginning to wonder. You think the masked man told the truth? I wish I knew. He's a crook, sir. He must be. Perhaps. However, I can't understand why Lame Crow would be willing to surrender himself unless he had good reason to think his innocence would be proven. But... We attack when the two hours are up, don't we, sir? Certainly. There's less than ten minutes, you say? Eight now. Well, the men are ready. I'll give the command. Yes, sir. What, what's that? Horsemen. The Indians? I can't tell, sir. If the Redskins are attacking, make ready to charge. The horse. At the sound of the bugle, the Indians broke off their chant, and the masked man leaped to his feet. That was the signal to action, Silver. Something's gone wrong. Hey, <laughs> the old fellow. Stand back. 
Wait until you see what happens. Them kill lame crow. Wait, you don't know whether your chief has been harmed or not. Them kill lame crow. You die. Stand back, I tell you. Oh, look! Crowler! Oh, no. Look there! There's your chief. He's safe. There's Captain Martin with him and Tato and Squint and Maxson. Now you learn the truth about this affair. Tato, this way! I Lame crow! Here. Here, Squint. Let me go, Blaster. Let me go. Out of the saddle. Captain, wait. Here's the man you want. I know. I learned the truth when they rode into our lines just now. He's made a full confession. <laughs> he didn't have to confess. His whole bunch is locked up back in Buffalo City. And they done the confessing for him. I demand a trial. I got Shut up. Uh, but I can't. You'll be tried, I... and then you'll hang. You and every one of your men. And if they do dodge the law, Captain, we might see to it that they fall into the hands of Lame Crow. After Squint's attempt to put the blame on the Indians, I think Lame Crow would like to deal out a little justice of his own. Mm. Lame Crow fix him. No, no, Don't you Don't worry, can't. Squint. You'll get just what you deserve, whether you get it from white men or red. Masked man? Yes? Lame Crow told me what you did. Offered yourself as hostage to prevent an attack before Tano could arrive with Squint. It was the only way to get the time we needed. Because I doubted your word. You can't blame yourself for that, sir. You thought you were right. I couldn't expect you to take the word of a masked man. I don't suppose... Yes? I mean, after what you've done, saved me a blunder, my men and these braves their lives, I don't suppose you'd tell us who you are. We're your friends. I'm sorry, Captain. That's something I tell no one. But we all... You not know masked men? I don't. But I'd like to, Lame Crow. Mask man. Yes? Him, Lone Ranger. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Thank you.